Hello and another warm welcome to Australian Jazz with me and I'm Christine McKenzie. We're going to start with the Creole Bells. Bob Patty, Mike Edwards, Steve Waddell, Doug Rawson, Tony Orr, and Fred Clark. And with Eric Holroyd doing the cornet. Uh, and the number. I think you will, if those of you who happen to be George Formby fans will, will recognize it, it's Fan, Fanlight Fanny for the Frowsy Nightclub Queen. <laughs> West End, that's the best end where the nightclubs thrive. Down into a dive you go. There's a jazz queen, she's a has been, has been Lord knows what. And every night she's there on show. She dances underneath a magic spell. She's full of charm and beer and stout as well She's 66 but looks 16 Her friends don't know her now her face is clean Fan like Fanny, the frowsy nightclub queen See her glide around the floor Then glide around into the pub next door Fan like Fanny, the frowsy nightclub queen she looks well in the line, queen all the time, you get your money's worth. But by day you'll say, it's a second time on earth. She waltzes into the West End shops, then waltzes out in between two cops. Fan like Fanny, the frowsy nightclub queen. But understand, she's called a peach, cause she's always can. Fan like Fanny, the frowsy nightclub queen. When she's dressed, she's like Mae West. She wears two saucepan lids upon her chest. Fan like Fanny, the frowsy nightclub queen. She looks well in the night, a queen all right. You get your money's worth. But by day you'll say, it's a second time on earth. And every morn at the break of day They call for the empties and they cart away Fan like Fanny, the frowsy nightclub queen <laughs> Did you? Oh, I thought that was love, a lot of fun. Did you like that? Want me to play it again? <laughs> well, another program I'll play it, but not this time. I think we'd better not repeat it. <laughs> um, the, who, who did the vocal on that? It was Mike Edwards singing about Fanlight Fanny, the frowsy nightclub's queen. Well, well, well. Okay, <clears throat> a bit more serious now. <laughs> the Golden City Jazz Band have um, a gold, they call it a CD called Winner. And it's playing winners of tune competitions over the years. And just a little thought for myself. <laughs> this one was uh, nominated and won the prize in 1980. And it was written by Ken Evans. And it's called Christina Stomp. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now, Madam and the Ragtag, the Ragtag Jazz Band, uh, it's Pat Thompson is the, is the singer and the sort of uh, the lead. They're Hiri Kripak, Tony King, Graham Walker, David Bates. And you're going to hear Madam herself, Pat Thompson, really giving the old one two to the great song Frankie and Johnny. <laughs> Happy audience there, <laughs> yes, the great Pat Thompson. I wonder how many of you have ever seen her. She comes down to Melbourne occasionally and does a, does a round of the traps, but um, she basically lives up in the New South, New South Wales coast. Now, it's going to be the Alex Hutchinson Quartet, the Tassie Connection, um, with a, a really nice number called Rose Room. <laughs> Thank you. 
Lovely smooth sound from Alex Hutchinson's quartet, The Tassie Connection, and that was Rose Room. Now, Simon Stribling and Friends. Well, in fact, this particular number is not going to have many of them playing. It's got Joe Stevenson, clarinet, Simon's father, Neville Stribling, and Alan Brown on drums and washboard. They're going to play Eccentric Rag.
And next is the Cotton Club Orchestra that specialise in early big band jazz, of swing and wonderful stuff. Well, good stuff. And yet they're going to play for you today, After You've Gone. <laughs> We're going to finish up the program today with the original Red Onions band and they're going to play the Cannonball Blues.
we are. It's the end for another week. Isn't that sad? Never mind. I'll be back with you again soon. But cheers. Bye-bye. <laughs>